tradition returned to Land Park this Labor Day. Hundreds of local union members and their families are enjoying their day off at a picnic that goes beyond the food and the fun. Kathy Park joins us live with a closer look at this event. Looks like it's still going on, Kathy. That's right, still going on, Edie. You got the music, the free food, and even a moon bounce behind me. But many of the people that we spoke with say that Labor Day wouldn't be what it is today without the help of unions. Now, today's event is considered one of the biggest in the region, with about 1,500 people expected to come out throughout the course of the evening. Some of the unions represented today include Teamsters 856, the ACLU, and the Sacramento City Teachers Association, which second grade teacher David Fisher belongs to. He said this holiday is more than just. Just the unofficial end to summer. It really is about the working people. It's about the 40 hour work week. It's about the weekend, which labor brought us. It's about the minimum wage. It's about child labor laws. It's about all the things that labor has accomplished over the year and we still have to do together. And several elected officials and candidates are also scheduled to speak. As you can see, back out here live, they are on the stage right now. They're kind of doing a roll call at this point. Some of the con uh, uh, um, local officials include Congressman John Garamendi, Assemblymember Richard Pan, and State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tom Torlakson. This event is free to the public and is expected to wrap up around 8 o'clock tonight. Reporting live from Land Park, Kathy Park. KCRA 3 News. Kathy, thank you.